Welcome everyone back to Fallout 76. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how exactly to mesh in Fallout 76. If you're like me, one of the biggest issues I have with the game right now is the fact that when you build bases, they disappear if you server hop and someone's the same base there, and you lose everything you have. Now I am aware in the future in one of the patches they're adding a uh, feature or a function where your base won't get deleted and stuff like that, but for the time being, that is not the case. And also, you can just build some really cool bases underneath the map. They're, they're, they're pretty cool. The other thing I'll be showing you guys today is what a nuke looks like underneath the mesh as well, or at the you know below the map as well. But that's just a little extra. So anyway, let's begin. So right now, I am currently, guys, right here. You can see where, you can see where my camp's at right here against this wall right by uh, White Springs here. I'm going to actually hop out of my power suit here. So let's do that really quickly. All right, so here we go. So now guys, in order to actually be able to do this, you will need this bad boy right here. You can see the cooking pot I have down right there. Now let me show you guys something here. So this is how this works. So when you sit down in this thing, it actually will push you through the wall itself. As you can see, it does take a second though in situations like this where, there we go. Sometimes it takes a second for it to pop up. You just press exit. And now we're inside the first layer of the mesh. We do have one more to go through still, but I just want to show you guys this is what you have to have in order to do so. Now, let me show you guys something else really quickly. If, now, if you don't have this cooking station unlocked, no worries because you actually don't need the plan to be able to use this. Uh, really quickly, what we're going to do here is let's destroy this. We can scrap that. Maybe some budget there. All right. So if I go, I know it says I have unlocked, but really quickly I'll show you guys right here. See this cooking stove right here? It says that's locked for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down a little fireplace here, a cooking station. We're going to edit and we're going to store it. Now here's the, here's the craziest thing. I don't know why this, you, why this works, but you can literally do this with anything. You go down here and now we scroll over and you guys can see I now have the cooking station like unlocked, I can place it. As you can see, that was locked for me prior, so if you have that cooking station locked, you can do the same exact thing, and you'll be able to uh, place it down just like so. All right, no, I don't, I actually don't need this. I don't wanna scrap the upper floor. I wanna, there we go, I wanna scrap this thing, okay. So in order to get this to work, I am gonna move this one here. So we're gonna do it from move it over here just for now. You have to have a flat surface like so. If it's slanted whatsoever, you're going to have a really hard time actually getting through the mesh itself. But let's do this. So you want to have the spoon size so that ladle is right there. You want that facing the wall and get it as close as, as you possibly can here. So let's try, let's try right there. All right. So we're going to hop in here now. You can see basically our entire body is already through the first uh, first wall here. I exit out, and now I am inside the mesh. Now this next part for me was hard to do. This will not work in every situation that you find, but you, this second layer mesh right here, it needs to be like this. Like if it's slanted whatsoever, you might have issues. Where I got it, I'm not moving this one because I got really lucky to be honest. I think because uh, that's that's kind of slanted there. But there is a way to kind of around it. So if you can get it like this, even if it's a little slanted, what you can do is when you get in the cooking pot or the cooking station, and we just do tab. I'm not sure if it's on a control or anything like that, but for, for computer anyway, or PC, it's tab, space, and then press on, press back on S, which will make you walk backwards, if that makes sense. So we come back out of the mesh here. So if you're having issues getting through the wall, again, when you exit this menu right here, walk backwards, like immediately, and it should push you through. Might not every single time, but should push you through a majority of the time. So again, space, exit. There we go. Okay, so here we are. So guys, here is the little base I put up just for this video just to show you guys how well this actually works because it's actually pretty pretty darn cool. So obviously, now we're in this, through the second layer of the mesh, and this is actually behind the actual, well, it's supposed to be the playable map here. You can see above me is all the different terrain stuff. We can see pretty far, too. I don't know if down there, like right where my little uh, cursor is, that little point, little dot, is actually the end of the world or the border. But there's some water right there too. And there's a, there's a building apparently. But for the time being, this is like the best way to not have your base get deleted. 
Or maybe some of you just want to have your base underneath the mesh because it's it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I mean, it depends on when you build and stuff, but you can see some pretty cool things. Earlier when I was doing this, there was actually a nuke that someone dropped in White Springs, which was pretty cool. Which I'll show you guys that in a minute here. But that's basically all you have to do. And as you can see, I have a full base here. We got some little signs. Get my generator back here. I mean, all my workstations, stuff like that. You guys, these workstations are the same thing I showed you before with that uh, storing method, a little storing bug. Because uh, I don't have that unlocked. I don't have this uh, variant of this uh, weapons workbench unlocked or with the chemistry station, but it works all the same. And same with tables and stuff too, and these plants and like these signs and stuff. I don't have Android stuff unlocked. You can just do it by that little uh, storing method. If we come down here, you guys can see I have a little bed and stuff down here. Now let's do one thing really quickly. Let's get some stairs. And we're going to, uh, we're going to see if we can't keep going down. How far down can we go? How far down are you going to let us go? Can I build outside the building area? Okay. Interesting. But you can see this is the bottom of the map right here. Now that's like that rock right in front of me, stuff like that. You can actually jump on that stuff. Actually, I'll show you guys. If we go back up, uh, a different part of the map uh, by White Springs, actually it was... These rocks right here, I was trying to get a base underneath the mesh um, there the other day. And it was actually pretty funny because I was actually doing a little parkour. So here's what happens if you fall through. I don't know if this rock right here will may actually make me fall through. Through. There's a golf course right there. Wait, go back. It's kind of cool looking. You guys can see as far as you want. Let's see, is it going to make me fall through? Oh, there we go. So if you actually fall through the map, it literally just brings you back up somewhere above. So now... There's our base down there. Oh, am I going to be able to make this jump though? Now really quickly, the other thing I did want to talk to you guys about is now with turrets. So the, the good friend of mine that I used to play with in ARC, he's the one that sent me how to do this. Uh, he said you can get turrets actually working through the actual mesh, like this layer right here. Now, I won't be able to show you in this spot because I don't think there's enough room. I guess we can try, but I just don't think there's going to be enough room. Yeah, I can't get to place. But I can still kind of show you. So you guys can see where it's like, like right to the right, like right here. That's where the first layer is. Supposedly, if you get just like the tip of the turret outside of the mesh, it will shoot. Now, I tried this the other day with a few friends. We tried uh, killing some Scorch Beasts and stuff with it. It didn't work. We got it to track, but it wouldn't shoot. But my friend said he's got to work a few times. You just got to be patient with it. Eventually, you'll get it and it'll work. So maybe you guys can have some luck with that. If you do, let me know down below in the comment section. But guys, that is all you have to do to actually be able to mesh in this game. And uh, build your bases underneath the map. It's pretty interesting. It can be pretty fun. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Those of you still watching, now let's check out this nuke gameplay. So as I was building my base, basically all that was happening, someone dropped a nuke on White Springs. And I was like, oh, you know what? We need to see what that looks like underneath the map. Because I was kind of curious to see if, if it actually go underneath the map, which it did. I was surprised to actually see like the smoke and stuff down there from the actual radi radiation. Obviously, I wasn't close enough to see if you could get radiated when you're down there, but it was a pretty cool thing. Just a little thing I thought I'd share with you guys while I was making or getting ready to record this video. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you guys in the next video.